So Joseph's Place uh, is a wealth management company. Uh, we sell uh, various financial products to clients through a network of partners, we, what we call the partnership. Um, those products are things like ISAs, unit trusts, and sort of retirement products, things like that. Uh, and uh, we've been around for about 30 years now, and we're the biggest wealth manager in the UK uh, with about 30 years of history. We ended up uh, trialing and coming to the decision to adopt Snowflake because it solved our three major problems around cost, scale, and the ability to get our data to the people who needed it. Early sort of tests, just based on um, a lift and shift approach where we took the data that was previously working in our proof of concepts um, around Redshift, found that it was uh, twice as fast with for about a tenth of the price, was the way it worked out. Uh, and those initial sort of proof of concepts were accept it, you know, basically the, the amount of attention that was generated from those very simple, just pick it up, put it in this, demonstrate it works, was more than enough for us to start a proper project to start moving things to Snowflake. Snowflake has really enabled us by removing our worry of how it's going to scale and, and, and how performant it is and how we're going to have conflicting workloads. By removing those worries, it's allowed us to focus on creating a really good foundation of principles and standards about how we're going to develop using Snowflake because so much of it's already taken care of, it's not going to balloon into a massive document that we're never going to explain to people. It's easy to get our developers to understand how to build things in Snowflake using the rules we created and it removes so much of the worry about how we're going to scale and how we're going to take on these massive migration projects, break them down into smaller chunks and achieve what we sort of set out. It's, you know, I don't think we would have been able to do it without things working as easily as they do in Snowflake. One of the things that Snowflake really helps us with is our regulatory compliance. So to dig into a specific example, we have some Asia business. It's a very small part of our business, which is mostly for expats, based in uh, Hong Kong and Singapore. And they have regulations in that part of the world that require you to report to your clients within a week of the end of each month on how they're performing. And without Snowflake's sort of the speed of it and the, the, the low cost, we wouldn't be able to meet those regulations. In the future, uh, with our new data platform being built on Snowflake, we hope to get into the sort of data science, sort of AI, ML world. At the moment, we don't do a lot of that. We do some customer journey prediction, um, but it's not sort of industrialized. The main thing that we use Snowflake for at the moment is replacing a lot of our operational systems because we have a lot of problems with our old architecture, but I really look forward to the sort of future where we can start to exploit our data and do more of the, some of the more exciting things.